You're wondering what I'm doing with this arrow in my hand for a cardio challenge. Every year I start the summer out by doing a 30 day cardio challenge. This year, unfortunately, I broke my femur in April. So, my cardio challenge is gonna look a little different personally. I want you guys to join me. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I want you to show me what you're doing. 30 minutes a day of cardio for 30 days. Let's go. The answer is running out of ideas. So I'm trying to get creative. Today was a busy day. I did not get as much chance to shoot my bow as I was hoping to. Uh, you may or may not know this, but I'm preparing for a big archery tournament later this summer. And I want to shoot two or three hours a day if I can. I did not get the chance to do that today. So I decided to combine shooting archery with cardio challenge. Uh, normally when I do this, I would wind sprint down. So I'd sprint 100 yards to the target, grab my arrows, sprint back 100 yards, throw the arrow on the bow, and try to make two clean shots, and then sprint back down and get them. I call it wind sprint target practice. So I'm only seven weeks out of femur surgery, so I still can't sprint. Uh, so instead of sprinting, I'm gonna drag this heavy ass tire down and back and then try to make two good shots. So here we go. And if I get bored, I might throw in some push-ups and sit-ups and burpees and all that kind of fun stuff just to keep you guys interested. Here we go. Oh, good Lord. to try to keep myself from limping on my uh, slightly less strong leg. Good shot yet. Six shots in.
two minute plank. my breath while I'm shooting, it's crazy. Oh, that one's just up. Thought I got my first dot of the day. Nope. Worst shot of the day, best shot of the day. Averages out to a decent round or a mediocre round. Two good shots, come on baby. There we go, found the middle. So, two decent arrows. Decent arrow, good arrow, bad arrow. This is the only arrow of the day oh. that uh, missed the insert. Like, to see this discolored part, that would equate to the vital area if you were shooting at a real elk. And this is, one, this is a one-third scale elk that I got at Shields, which I'm pretty hyped on. And the upside, so I didn't hit the orange, what we would call the dot. I did not hit the dot nearly as many times as I was hoping to. But the upside is that in terms of bow hunting, I did not miss the vitals. I only missed the vitals once. Out of a bunch of arrows, that's pretty good when I'm running up and down, keeping my heart rate high. And this kind of equates to a concept that I like to call training the fringe. And that means essentially in your practice, you want to put yourself in the most compromised state that you would face in the field. So, you know, obviously I didn't shoot a perfect score today because I did have the one shot outside the vitals, but this is a one third scale elk too. So the vital area would be about this big on a real elk. So I'm training the fringe. Uh, and I know that if I can shoot that well under duress after dragging that tire down, down and back, then I can probably shoot that well under duress after making a big big hike to get in on an animal or something. Now, if we're trying to equate it to target archery, I definitely fail because if you're shooting against the best, you essentially can't miss this dot at all. And I missed it most of the time today. So that gives me something to work forwards, work towards going into OPA. Thanks for tuning in to Cardio Challenge Day 27. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.